cannabis seeds dating back to 3,000 years prior to the birth of Christ were uncovered in Kurgan burial mounds of Siberia, likely attributed to the Afanasyevo steppe culture. Chinese paintings dating to 62 centuries BC contain images of cannabis plant have been identified on Yangshao era pottery. In Western Eurasia, cannabis pollen consistent with cultivated hemp first appeared in the Pontic Caspian steppe. GIS mapping linked cultivation with the Copper Age Varna and Yamna cultures. In Iron Age steppe culture, the Scythians likely introduced hemp cultivation to Celtic and Proto-Slavic cultures. Cannabis and hemp pollen consisted with wild-type cannabis appeared within the boundaries of several Bronze Age cultures. These include the Netted Ware culture, the Izero culture, the Yamne culture, the Corded Ware culture, the Bell Beaker culture, the Teramara culture, Aegean Bronze Age and Mycenaean Greece. The Scythians left a trail of burned-out settlements built by the Proto-Slavic Lusatian culture around 600 BCE. Only two pre-550 BC sites in Slavic-Baltic territory showed signals consistent with hemp cultivation, and they occurred in the southeast, towards the Scythian homeland. A 1998 study linked the appearance of cannabis pollen in Poland with Scythian incursions. The Scythians appear to be responsible for the spread of cannabis amongst several Iron Age European cultures. Indo-Iranian people closely related to the Scythians also spread the cultivation of marijuana into India and South Central Asia. In Africa, cannabis was likely introduced from Egypt and Ethiopia by Arab merchants from the Middle East. Cannabis gradually spread from the east coast of Africa to the internal continent, where it was commonly used by the time the Portuguese arrived in the 16th century. This will come as a surprise to some people, but cannabis is not native to Americas. Yes, the Native Americans did not smoke weed until the Europeans brought it to the Americas. This may also explain why African Americans and those of Amerindian descent tolerate weed way worse. If your ancestors haven't had much exposure to cannabis, you are more likely to experience negative effects when blazing. Study findings suggest that male African American adolescents who use marijuana are at an increased risk of subsequent depressive symptoms. I am going to link one relevant study in the description of this video, because it has some very interesting data that I want to analyze. In Amsterdam, 54% of adolescents have smoked weed, and 69.6% .6 of adolescents with a psychotic disorder have smoked weed. The ratio of those with psychotic disorder smoking weed to those without is roughly 1.3. This is a relatively low ratio. For comparison, among Brazilians, 1.5% of healthy adolescents have smoked weed, yet 3.6% of adolescents with a psychotic disorder have smoked weed. This is a ratio of 2.4, significantly higher than in Amsterdam. My gut tells me that if this study were to collect data on Sub-Saharan Africans and East Asians, the ratio would be even higher. Keep in mind, Brazilians have some European admixture. To sum it up, the first people to use marijuana recreationally were steppe cultures, and from the Eurasian steppe marijuana was spread worldwide.